What's up, guys? Welcome back to Layers of Fear. Uh, it's gonna be episode two of my uh, Let's Play on this. Uh, when I finished off yesterday, I'd fallen in a hole. So we're gonna continue on here and uh, see what happens. Um, yeah, it when it saves, it started me back out in this painting room. So I'm just going to go back to where. I left off, which was I stood in front of this painting and this floor opened up. And this is where we were at. So, let's see. Or not see, because it's really dark in here. Lights. <gasps> Whoa, 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 what the hell? Whoa, okay. Things happened. I'm honestly not entirely sure what the hell just happened. Okay, well, let's, um, hobble my limping ass up the stairs. Secret passage. Okay, um, same room, different room. Slightly confused. Hmm. Okay. Nothing in there. Fireplace is going. The baby doll that I guess was up there is now hanging on the deer bust. Okay then. In the globe. All right, so where to go from here? Z door. Well, this is a little different. Ominous music. Oh sh shit! Is that what it was? This. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold <clears throat> that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, then. Okay. I'm not that round. Oh, apparently she wasn't very happy with that drawing. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's open this door, see what happens. Hmm. More ominous music. Whoa! Ah! Shit! <laughs> what the hell was that? Ah! No, that was not even. Damn it, I kicked my damn desk. It hurt. <sighs> okay, so I'm. I don't know what that was. Bunch of books. I'll have to go back in the video and rewind that and see what the fuck that actually was. Bunch of running. Ain't. And a bust. Okay. That's... 
Let's walk back out the door and see if anything changed. Open. The house of just changing rooms. Mirror and a bunch of papers. Box. Let's see, Anthony in here. Here to be. Nothing I can do anything with. Bottom one. More papers. More papers. Yep. All right. Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. When we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch and she just burst into tears. Just be there for her and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now I know I promise not to rush you and by all means enjoy your well-deserved time off. But just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up the yin yang, commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket my friend, maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot. But of course, the family comes first. Your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. Okay. <sighs> Shut that. Doesn't look like anything in there. Let's see. Okay, someone is not happy, and that door is locked. Hello. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a talking hairbrush. All right. Um, okay, that's still locked. Let's hobble down this way. Some of these paintings seem to have like this whole double face thing going on. I guess it'll make sense eventually. Got in here. No, that one's locked too. More paprika. And no light switches. Okay, this is not going to be good. <laughs> Just waiting for something to jump around the corner at me. Alright, uh, bottles, bottles, bottles. Lots of bottles. Broken bottles. First step is the hardest. Water everywhere again. Ah, we're back in the kitchen. And the music is changing again. Give me a knife. Give me a knife. Sugar, paprika. The hell? Whoa. What in the hell is going on in here? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, um... Shh, what the hell? Oh no, it's dark. It's very, very dark. I can't see over there now. Oh shit. I 
I'd looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Well then, I was gonna say, that looks suspiciously like a piece of skin. Okay, um... Okay, I got a little icon down there now, but I'm not sure what that means yet. I keep pressing the scale because I don't know why you can press the scale at this point. Alright, looks like I'm supposed to go this way because I can't see a damn thing that way. My paint room's changed a little bit. <clears throat> um, hate even now, lost, you deserve it, finish it. Okay, some more words are appearing there. Flamingos? Yes. Shapeless dreams. Oh, what's this in here? Or skin. First, I looked for a canvas, not just any canvas. I'd find a knife. Oh, it's the same stuff the dude just said. Okay. Hmm. This. Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Oh, we have a journal now. Okay, that's one of the pictures I found. That's the only picture I found so far. Yeah, it would appear so. Wow, there's a lot of pictures to find. Hmm. Alright, let's go back down the hall. See what we got now. An elevator. No, I guess I don't shut the door. All right, what we got? Use it. Nothing. Ah. Got a red light. go that way. Okay. Does... Can... Okay, what if I... Hmm. Can't seem to grab the door and close it. Ah, there we go. It's just temperamental as hell. There we go. All right. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. Where the hell is the elevator taking me? Kind of waiting for the floor to just fall out on me. Yeah, this drawer is really a 
pain in the ass to open and close. Devs need to fix that door. Either that sucks. Alright. Lights and a vase. Seems like a very shiny vase for this house. Everything else is like all broken and screwed up. Locked, of course. Locked. Damn it. Sorry, Garth, I'll... Yep, there is a person standing there. Or is that just a painting? Okay, that's just a painting. That was creepy. That was really creepy. <sighs> a lot of the same paintings. Oh, there's a key. Open up. What's in here? Oh, big wall of text. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset and have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Uh, having said that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who will be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. Okay. All the text was long. Alright, so we got a letter, a chair, I did pick up a key, and we got more paintings. Oh look, stuff changed again, imagine that. Alright. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. So you definitely enjoyed her music. Uh, let's see. Let's go down here. But I have a key. Guess I don't have the right key. What happened to the elevator? Ah, key for this door. More books. Just kind of... I hear weird stuff. What the hell? I can't get in there. Oh, the attic. Awesome. Um, well, that's not good. Probably shouldn't be stepping around on that either. <laughs> why? 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 Why did you have to do that? Damn it. Alright. <sighs> Did 
the ah, rats. Where to go? I guess I'll go here. Looks like something's going on. Make up your mind. Make up my mind about what? I appear to have a pretty major rat problem. All right, warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. Uh, while typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should see a, uh, oh, sorry, you should contact a qualified specialist i.e. psychologist or psychiatrist. Blank expression, stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movements, yep. Insomnia, haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or postures, always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities, definitely. Uh, depersonalization, what does that even mean? Awkward clumsy movement, might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment, more passive aggressive, lack of motivation, yes, and suicidal tendencies, question mark, question mark, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Okay, so apparently, I'm assuming that's the wife talking about me. So we have nothing we can do down there. Okay, you got nothing I can do there. Uh, so, one of these doors? Oh, that's just books. What's in there? The store. I can... I can't even tell anymore. Yes, this is the same room. It's just turned around. I think. I don't know. Everything's so complicated. It just feels like I walk around this house and I have no idea where I'm at because everything keeps changing. All right. Oh, excuse me. Open. Thank you. <laughs> the hell? Hmm. There's a safe. Alright. No idea what numbers are. Just need to find what numbers are. Somehow, some way. Oh. Six five doesn't seem right. Oh, that's an interesting painting. All right, uh, one six five, one six five. That was all ten digit numbers, wasn't it? That's how how one. Drag it. All right. B. I really don't think this is right, but I'm going to try it anyway. One, six, five. No, didn't think so. All right. Well, 
time's about up for this episode anyway. It looks like I've been going for a little over 20 minutes now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here in the room that exploded behind me. And there's a safe on the wall that i got to find the number for. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. A um, couple of really big jump scares. My foot still friggin' hurts from kicking my damn desk. Uh, but anyway, give me a like. Uh, give me a subscribe. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know if you're enjoying it or not. Uh, until next time.